Hey guys, I really hope you enjoy this clip, but before you do, please hit subscribe. Are there any hacks? I don't know what comes to mind. Top three things, maybe one thing, like some business hacks that entrepreneurs can take with them to their business. Yeah, I have a lot. If you, so I recently hired a online EA, like a virtual assistant, total game changer. Like I, I, and, and if you're like me and you're struggling to do that and you're like, ah, I just don't know how it would work. What I did that finally pushed me over the edge was for a month, I wrote down every single task that I could have outsourced. And, and the other thing is, there are a lot of small business owners listening. I think when you're a small business owner, it's a little bit easier to realize that like life and work blend together a little bit, right? So there's only so many hours in the day. So if you can hire someone that can help you take on a task that you would otherwise have to spend time doing and couldn't work during, that seems like a reasonable use of, of a business expense. So on my list of tasks before I hired this virtual assistant was everything from, I can you source me meals that we can cook this week and then order the groceries on Amazon Fresh to be delivered to our house? If that saves me three, four hours a week, that's three, four hours a week I could do something else, whether that's hang out with my kids or, or work, like it, it frees up time. And so I started making this list and I realized there were just so many things. And I, I used Loom and every time I had a thing that I wanted someone else to do, and this was kind of once I made the decision to hire someone, I would just record, here's how I do it. And if you haven't used Loom, it's basically a screen recording software. And I was like, hey, this is how I create an invoice and send it out, put it in a list. And then I have a list of tasks and a list of videos with those tasks of exactly how to do it. And you can really get someone off the ground running. So I'm a huge fan of this. Uh, there are a lot of companies out there that you know offer services to help you find these. I used one called Oceans, oceansxyz.com. Uh, my has been absolutely kind of game changer, both on the personal front, help me organize this trip, and on the business side, listen to a podcast, help me think about how to prep for this interview, do a, some research on this topic, uh, follow up with these people, clean out my inbox, draft replies to people. It's just once you make a list for a month, you realize there's a thousand things that someone else could be doing to help free you up for those really important things. And I think my biggest hack for business owners is that I don't feel like we spend as enough time. We don't, I don't think we spend enough time focused on those big picture things. How am I going to, you know, 10x this business? How am I, what major things do I need to be focusing my time and energy on? Because we get so caught up and God, I got to get through all these emails today. Oh, I got to go do all these meetings. So one big one is that. The other one is I got this email from someone once and I said, hey, do you want to, I would love to pick your brain about something. And they had this response. Was, I think it was even an auto reply. It said, hey, could we do this asynchronously? And they kind of like just pushed back a little bit and said, it, you know, I just have so much stuff going on. I really want to prioritize my work, my time, my family. I found that I can get meetings done in half the time if we do them asynchronously. Here's this software called Loom. If you want to run something by me, record a video. I will record a response. Like we will have a conversation. I'm not trying to ignore you. I just think it's more efficient. And I've started doing this a little bit and wow, is it so much more efficient. Like you want to ask someone to review your startup presentation? Well, I'd rather review it by watching a video of you presenting it that I can watch it 2x because I don't know if you're listening to podcasts, you probably have gotten accustomed to listening at something faster than 1x. So I can watch the thing faster. I can type up my reply. I can do it in bed while my you know wife is asleep, which I couldn't do a call during. And I don't know, it's just that's become really a game changer. And then also just learning that you don't have to say yes to everything. Like... Every person that asks for a little bit of your time is you don't have to say yes. And you know, once you learn to say, hey, I'm really focused on other things right now. I don't have time. If you want to follow up in three months after I'm done with a few big projects, we can make something happen. 90% of the people never follow up. Uh, and, and you really free up a lot of your time to focus on things that are probably more important than these one-off meetings. I can uh, be a testament that you do that because our mutual friend that introduced us before he introduced us, he was like, this guy is ruthless with his time. Like, he's not going to work with you if it's not a priority. It's not like a negative thing. It's like, and I admired it so much. I remember asking uh, David, I was like, well, why don't you just talk to him? Tell him about, just see if it's okay. And so by the time he had come back, he's like, Chris said he'll talk to you. 
the joke, like I, it was like a rite of passage. I was like, oh God, I passed some tests. I didn't know what test I passed, but I think it's so smart that you do it. 